Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The Poly InnoTech Open Day opening ceremony is about to begin. May I invite all guests to welcome our officiating party to march in. 李大创科开放日开幕典礼马上开始，现在有请大家以热烈的掌声欢迎我们的主礼嘉宾。Dr. Lam Tai Fai, Poly U Council Chairman, Professor Dong Sun, Secretary for Innovation, Technology and Industry, Zhongyang Renmin Zhengfu, Zhu Xiangang Tebie Xing Zheng Chu Lian Nuo Ban Gong Shi, Jiao Ru Keji Bu Liu Mao Zhou Xian Sheng, Professor Jin Gong Tang, President of Poly U, Ms. Rebecca Pan, Commissioner for Innovation and Technology, Dr. Lawrence Lee, Poly U Deputy Council Chairman. Dr. Roy Chung, Honorary Chairman of Poly U Corp. Professor Wang Wing Tech, Deputy President and Provost of Poly U. And Dr. Miranda Lo, Executive Vice President of Poly U. Honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to the Hong Kong Polytechnic University this morning to our Poly U InnoTech Open Day opening ceremony. I am Bobo Lai, the Master of Ceremony of today. 各位来宾，欢迎大家出席今天的李大创科开放日开幕典礼。我是李宝文，今天的主持人。The opening ceremony is also broadcast live on YouTube, Weibo, and WeChat. So, a warm welcome to our audience online. 今天的颁奖典礼也在 YouTube、微博和微信直播。线上的观众朋友们，你们好。Today's Poly U InnoTech Open Day is one of our 85th anniversary signature events. It brings our industry partners, researchers, prospective students, parents, and other stakeholders here together to witness Poly U's latest endeavors in interdisciplinary research, innovation. Knowledge transfer and entrepreneurship. Today's Open Day is one of our 85th anniversary activities. Our partners, researchers, students, parents, and other stakeholders are gathered here today to celebrate the achievements of the University of Hong Kong in innovation, Over the years, our researchers have transformed innovations and research breakthroughs into real-world solutions and social innovations. We have prepared a video to share with you PolyU's 10 most impactful innovations. Please enjoy. 李大的科研人员一直致力将崭新发明和科研突破转化为实切可行的解难方案和创新项目，贡献业界和社会。接下来，我们准备了一段短片，为大家介绍李介绍李大十项最具影响力的创新项目，请大家细心欣赏。I hope you all have gained a better understanding of PolyU's impactful innovations after watching the video and enjoyed it as much as I did. 希望这个短片能加深大家对李大具影响力创新项目的认识。Next, may I invite Professor Jin Guan Tang, PolyU's president, to address us a welcome speech. Professor Tang, please. 现在有请校长滕景光教授为我们致辞。校长有请。
Before I start, I want to mention that uh, we have given you a souvenir. In that bag, there is a rubber band for you, and there is a QR code where you can scan that QR code and find a eight-form rubber band exercise scientifically based and designed by our Department of Rehabilitation Science, Professor Amy Fu, uh, Hong Kong's uh, most well-known <laughs> physiotherapist. Uh, it will be very useful for your, for your health, and uh, you will see uh, our chairman, uh, uh, Dr. Lam Dai Fei, demonstrating for you how that should be played. <laughs> Okay, so if you don't mind, because the fog will block my view, so I would have to take off my uh, mask for a moment. Uh, I've done my IAT test this morning, and yesterday I did a PCR test, so should be quite safe at a distance of five meters. The Honorable uh, Professor Sun Tong, uh, Nobel Laureate, Sir Michael Horton, Chairman Lam, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. On behalf of the Hong Kong Polytechnic University, I would like to welcome you all most warmly to this op opening ceremony of the PolyU Enotech Open Day. It is our great honor to have Professor Sun, uh, a uh, distinguished scientist, now the leader of Hong Kong's uh, innovation and technology industry development. Uh, of course, he is now the secretary for innovation, technology, and industry to be with us today. We look forward to hearing his insight into the future direction of the innovation and technology development of Hong Kong in a short moment. Let me also thank Sir Michael Horton, the 2020 Nobel Laureate in Physiology or Medicine, who will give us an inspirational talk uh, a little later. In addition, I would like to express my gratitude to the 19 supporting organizations who are backing today's milestone event, and they are all key players in the innovation technology ecosystem in Hong Kong. The development of a vibrant innovation technology industry uh, is obviously the key to the future success of Hong Kong and has received very strong support and encouragement from both the central government and the Hong Kong SAR government. Uh, I'm sure that the new term of the SAR government will even uh, put in even more resources to step, step up the effort for accelerating the development of innovation technology industries in Hong Kong. Of course, uh, PolyU aims to play a significant role in this, transformation, into this transformation of Hong Kong into an international center for innovation and technology. And uh, today's event uh, exemplifies our efforts in this area. To the best of my knowledge, this PolyU InnoTech Inno Open Day is the first ever such Open Day among the local universities in Hong Kong. This Open Day is also a signature event in celebration of PolyU's 85th anniversary. PolyU's first predecessor, uh, the Government Trade School, was founded in 1937. Uh, the institution, with around 450,000 alumni, nearly half a million alumni, uh, has contributed greatly to the development of Hong Kong into a world-class city. Taking this opportunity, let me share with you a few examples to illustrate the ways in which we support the innovation and technology development in Hong Kong through our endeavors in education, research, knowledge transfer, and entrepreneurship. A most important way to boost innovation and technology development is to nurture a large pool of talents for Hong Kong. We are introducing two mandatory new elements into our undergraduate programs. Uh, one is called AI and data analytics. Another one, is, another one is called innovation and entrepreneurship. 
we want to prepare our students with these requirements for success in the Industry 4.0 era. In addition to these compulsory elements, students of 25 of our bachelor degree programs have the opportunity to study a secondary major in AI and data analytics within a four year study period. Whilst the 12 of our bachelor degree programs uh, will allow students to complete a secondary major in innovation and entrepreneurship. This secondary major system we have introduced is a significant innovation in the higher education offerings in Hong Kong and will provide the society with a large number of interdisciplinary graduates needed by the society. In addition to nurturing talents, it is also very important for us to create world-class platforms that will foster impactful research. A great example of such platforms is the government's flagship Inno Hong Kong initiative, which aims to encourage uh, local universities to work with renowned international universities uh, for international research collaboration in Hong Kong, helping Hong Kong to become an international research powerhouse. I'm pleased to share with you that PolyU has set up three pioneering research centers under in Hong Kong, of course, based in uh, the Science Park in partnership with renowned universities overseas. These centers focus on the development of artificial intelligence, design, and vision science innovations to positively impact the society. Our university has also established the PolyU Academy for Interdisciplinary Research, PAIR, we read it as PAIR, which is the largest interdisciplinary research platform in Hong Kong and will further enhance the status of Hong Kong and the GBA as an international innovation and a technology pair, a hub. Pair actually in its Chinese name for pair is You will learn much more about pair and its mission to address the world's most pressing challenges in a moment this morning, later this morning. Obviously, creating world-class research platforms alone is not enough to drive our innovation and technology development. We also need to have a strong culture of knowledge transfer so that researchers and practitioners are empowered to work together to translate our innovative ideas into practical solutions. At PolyU, we have completed a large number of successful knowledge transfer projects. For instance, our researchers, as you may already know, have contributed directly to the landmark space exploration programs uh, of our country, including the latest three lunar missions and the first Mars exploration project. In a short moment, the 10 best knowledge transfer projects of PolyU, or the 10 best technologies from PolyU, will receive the first uh, President's Awards for outstanding achievement in knowledge transfer. At PolyU, we are also dedicated to empowering entrepreneurs and startups. In this respect, let me share with you the story of High Robotics, a startup company which was founded by two PolyU and Indian graduates with initial funding from the university. High Robotics has made use of artificial intelligence to develop the world's first autonomous case handling robotic system for warehouse automation. High Robotics is now a successful unicorn. I think their success is attributed very much to their uh, college to set up as a company across the border. So they have access to the huge market in the GBA and in our country, as well as 
the industrial supply chain in the GBA. So I think the future of Hong Kong's innovation and technology industry must embrace opportunities offered by the GBA and the mainland, both in terms of the market and the industrial basis. Looking into the future, probably you will seek to work closely with the government as well as our strategic partners across all sectors of society to create innovative technologies and nurture leading talent to support the, Hong, the development of Hong Kong and the GBA into an international innovation and technology hub and to support the development of science and technology in general in our nation. With our concerted efforts, I'm sure that we will further advance the frontiers of knowledge and technology living up to our university's motto to learn and to apply for the benefit of mankind. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Tang, for enlightening words. Please be seated. Today, we are honored to have Professor Dong Sun, Secretary for Innovation, Technology, and Industry of the Hong Kong SAO government here with us. 今天我们非常荣幸邀请到香港特别行政区政府创新科技及工业局局长孙东教授担任我们的主理嘉宾。Now may I invite Professor Shen to share a few words with us. Professor Shen, please. 现在有请孙局长到台上为我们支持。孙局长有请。Dear Dr. Lam, Professor Tang, Professor Houghton, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is my great honor to join you all here today at the InnoTech Open Day of the PolyU. I'm very glad to learn that today's event, apart from being the university's first ever InnoTech Open Day also carries a special meaning as one of the signature activities to celebrate PolyU's 85th anniversary. Over the years, PolyU has been playing a long supporting and pioneering role in driving the INT development in Hong Kong. I'm particularly pleased to see that PolyU is furthering its journey to help shine Hong Kong as a leading INT hub by leveraging its academic strengths and world-class research competence through various strategic measures, such as setting up the PolyU Academy for Interdisciplinary Research Join the Jiangsu Hong Kong Macau University Alliance and supporting the Inno Hong Kong Initiative to develop three research centers in our two research clusters with world renowned universities, which help transform our city into a global innovation powerhouse. With the government's solid commitment to the INT development, coupling with our strong capabilities in scientific research and academic excellence of our universities, Hong Kong's INT ecosystem is flourishing and increasingly vibrant. The number of startups and venture capital investment in Hong Kong have substantially increased over the past few years, during which we have also witnessed the birth of more than a dozen of unicorns. Hong Kong is now Asia's largest and the world's second largest fundraising hub for biotechnology companies. With unwavering support from the central government, 
in the National 14th Five-Year Plan and the encouraging support to Hong Kong's INT development by President Xi during his recent visit to Hong Kong. This term of government will endeavor to step up efforts in driving the INT development with the vision to develop Hong Kong into an international INT center. We will devise a top-level planning, further enlarge our INT talent pool, continue to enhance our INT ecosystem, speed up the progress of the reindustrialization, and deepen our INT collaboration with the mainland, thereby bringing continuous impetus to the INT development of Hong Kong. The concerted effort of all relevant stakeholders, including the academia, research institutes, and the business communities, is certainly indispensable. The coming five years will be a crucial time for Hong Kong to advance from governance to prosperity and are particularly important for Hong Kong's INT development. I look forward to joining hands with you all here to fully seize the golden development opportunities ahead and to build a better and more innovative Hong Kong. Before I close, may I take this opportunity to wish Poly Youth a happy 85th anniversary, today's event a great success, and everyone a very fruitful and rewarding experience. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Sun. Please be seated. Today's Poly U InnoTech Open Day is a full day event with exhibition of impactful innovations, Poly Unicorn sharing, and startup pitching, duplex consultations and seminars, labs and campus facilities tours. 今天的李大创客开放日节目非常的丰富，当中包括具影响力的创新项目展览、李大独角兽分享会及初创展览、联照课程咨询及学习生活分享、校园及实验室主题导赏团等等。We have also invited two special guests, AI robots Sophia and Grace. I'm sure most of you have met them just now when you're in your way in. They are created by a Hong Kong-based humanoid robotic company. They are here today to greet and interact with our participants. So please do check them up after this opening ceremony. 除此以外，今天我们邀请到两位特别嘉宾，人工智能机械人 Sophia 和 Grace 来到校园跟大家见面。相信现场的朋友们刚刚进来之前已经见过他们了。Sophia 和 Grace 是由香港的机械人技术公司创造。大家如果还没有见到他们的话，典礼之后你们可以去找他们，和他们打招呼和交流。It is now time to kick off our ceremony of PolyU InnoTech Open Day. May I invite our honorable guests to come to the stage? 现在是时候去启动今天的李大创科开放日，有请主礼嘉宾到台上。May I have Professor Dong Sun, Secretary for Innovation, Technology and Industry, Dr. Lam Tai Fai. PolyU Council Chairman, Professor Jin Guangcheng, President of PolyU, Ms. Rebecca Pan, Commissioner for Innovation and Technology, Zhongyang Renmin Zhengfu, Zhu Xiangang Tebie Xingzheng Chu, Lianluo Bangkongshi, Xiao Yu Keji Bu, Liu Mao Zhou Xiansheng, Dr. Lawrence Lee, PolyU Deputy Council Chairman, Dr. Roy Chong, Honorary Chairman of PolyU Court, Professor Wang Wing Tak, Deputy President and Provost of PolyU, and Dr. Miranda Lowe, Executive Vice President of PolyU. A lot of our supporting organizations is also here with us today that have contributed greatly to innovation and technology development. May I now invite our IND stakeholders to join us on stage. Today, many of our support organizations have come to the stage. They are not Dr. Alan Shi, President of the Chinese Manufacturers Associations of Hong Kong. Professor Dennis Lowe, 
Chairman of Hong Kong Alliance of Technology and Innovation. Mr. Edwin He, Chief Executive Officer of the Hong Kong Research Institute of Textiles and Apparel. Mr. Peter Yan, Chief Executive Officer of Hong Kong Cyberport Management Company Limited. Professor Chen Wai Yi, President of Hong Kong Institute of Science. Dr. Lewis Ho, Chief Technology Officer of Hong Kong Applied Science and Technology Research Institute Company Limited. I.R. Edwin Chung, President of the Hong Kong Institution of Engineers. Dr. Lawrence Chung, Chief Innovation Officer of Hong Kong Productivity Council. Mr. Stephen Truong, Executive Deputy Chairman of Federation of Hong Kong Industries. Mr. Raymond Zhu, Associate Director, Institute for Translational Research Education. Hong Kong Science and Technology Parks Corporation. IR Dr. Alex Chen, Senior Vice President of Hong Kong Academy of Engineering Science. Thank you, our honorable guests, for coming today. The foreign kickoff ceremony symbolized the cooperation between PolyU and stakeholders in INT ecosystem to nurture more INT talents, contributing to Hong Kong's development into an INT hub and bringing positive impact to mankind. We now invite our guests on stage to kick off our ceremony. Before we start, may I invite all our guests to hold for a photo? Please look at our cameras in the middle. Now, on the count of three, I will invite all the guests to kick off the InnoTech Open Day. 在倒数三声后，我将邀请嘉宾启动仪式。大家准备好了吗？三、二、一。The red tone of PolyU 85th anniversary logo represents different generations of PolyU students, staff, and alumni. The gold colored embodies the PolyU spirit as we strive for excellence in research and education. 八十五周年设计的校徽，红色部分代表了不同年代的理大师生和校友。而金色的部分象征大学追求卓越的精神。The joint efforts of PolyU and its supporting organizations will contribute to innovation and technology development of Hong Kong and the Greater Bay Area. 理大和支持机构将通力合作，推动香港和大湾区的创新科技发展。Thank you, all our guests, ladies and gentlemen. We are now invite our guests in the first row to stay, and representatives of supporting organizations to be seated. 谢谢各位嘉宾。现在有请第一排主理嘉宾留步，而我们的支持机构代表可以先到台下就座。Now may I invite members of the PolyU Council. Court, senior management and deans to join us on stage for a group photo. May I have the foreign guests to join on the first row, please? Mr. Xin Yet Kim, Ms. Karen Chan, Dr. Daniel Yip, I.R. Arthur Lee, and I.R. Yao Kuo Fai. Please join our guests on stage to the first row. Thank you. Also, we'll have Professor H. Seaman, Dr. Raymond Leung, Mr. Kenneth Pang, Dr. Patrick Poon, Professor Ko Yin Wong, Professor Christopher Chow, Professor Van Yang, Mr. Simon Wong, Professor Geoffrey Shen, Professor Edwin Chang, Professor Jin Long Chao, 
Professor Li Ping Andrew, Professor Raymond Wong, and Dr. Catherine Jern. Would everyone please look at our camera in the middle for a group photo? Please also give out all our guests a big hand. 请大家给我们的台上的嘉宾一点掌声。Thank you very much for all guests. Please be seated. 感谢各位，请到台下就座We are living in a world that presents us with unprecedented opportunities, brought about by the fourth industrial revolution, but also unparalleled social challenges that will change how we live and work. The world is facing many challenges like climate change, aging population, for which solutions can no longer be found within individual disciplines. Interdisciplinary research can be one of the most productive and inspiring of human pursuits to produce solutions to these profound issues and expand our knowledge. That is why the PolyU has established the PolyU Academy for Interdisciplinary Research, PEAR, a unique research model for Hong Kong, making it out as one of the few pioneers institutes in the world taking this visionary approach. 全球正面对着前所未有的挑战，例如气候变化、人口老化、单凭个别的学科力量以及难以解决现今的问题，而交叉学科研究是人类探索解决社会各种深层难题的最具成效和启发创意的方法之一。有见其次，李大成立了香港理工大学高等研究院 （PEAR）， 为香港创建独一无二的跨学科研究模型。也成为世界上少数实现如此前瞻性的概念的先驱学府之一。May I now invite Professor Christopher Chow, Vice President, Research and Innovation of PolyU, to speak about recent developments of interdisciplinary research at PolyU and the establishment of PEAR. 现在有请李大副校长、研究及创新赵宇恒教授跟我们分享李大交叉学科研究的最新发展和 PEAR 的成立。Professor Chow, please. Thank you, Honorable Professor Shan Dong, Council Chairman Dr. Lam Dai Fei, President Tan Jing Guang, also our distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for giving us a chance to share with you our vision and mission of setting up PolyU Academy for Interdisciplinary Research and our understanding of what interdisciplinary research can do for Hong Kong. There are a number of societal challenges facing us every day, from tackling poverty to hunger to climate change issue to how to build a sustainable cities, health, etc., etc. Many of these are actually involving interdisciplinary research, and interdisciplinary research solution can be used to tackle many of these world challenges. Our targets and challenges are, in fact, multinational and very complex. In order to achieve the targets, one way to deal with it is to go through interdisciplinary research. And in fact, this can also help to break the barriers, to allow for more flexibility, and to integrate the outcomes, and also to bring talents from different fields together. What is the meaning of interdisciplinary research, and how is it different from what we call multidisciplinary research? Can better be illustrated by the two diagrams here. For multidisciplinary research, 
we can consider it as something that we can join together to work on a common problem. We split apart and change when the work is done. When you look at interdisciplinary research, we join together to work on a common problem. Interaction may forge a new research area or discipline. So at the end of the exercise, a new domain of knowledge may emerge. In fact, interdisciplinary research fits very well the innovation and technology development in GBA, including Hong Kong. Hong Kong's position in our national and GBA future development plans has put us into the possibility of building an international innovation and technology hub, as mentioned by our secretary, Professor Sandong, earlier. Recently, I read an article written by Professor Sandong. He put down building a smart city as one of the examples that we can work on. In fact, I think this is an excellent example to be used to further illustrate this topic called interdisciplinary research. We can take smart city as an example. If you look at the topic of smart city, it involves a lot of technological area, environmental issue. There are also issues related to humanity, society, finance, management, policy as well. So this is not only a single discipline can handle. In fact, this is a very good example of how to make use of interdisciplinary research to tackle the problem. If you look at PolyU, we can actually bring all our nine faculties and schools to work together to tackle this interesting challenge. Carbon neutrality is another very good example of interdisciplinary research. Apart from handling waste, energy saving, better use of resources, we can also think of green transport, green procurement, and many other issues that are not necessarily related to technology alone. This is why PolyU has also endorsed our campus carbon neutrality plan. We hope to achieve the target before 2045. PolyU Academy for Interdisciplinary Research, PAIR, has the following vision and mission. We want to be a world-leading uh, university in providing interdisciplinary solutions for major societal challenges through advanced research and knowledge transfer activities. There are quite a number of institutes for advanced studies following the Princeton model, which focuses on more basic research based on a curiosity-driven approach. Our interdisciplinary research focuses more on mission-driven solution to help resolve societal impacts. This is why we want to make a number of changes in order to support the development of society. You can see from the list here that we have altogether 11 research institutes and five research centers at the current moment, including areas such as smart cities, smart energy, advanced manufacturing, aging, future food, mental health, and also sports science and technology, which is the newest research institute that we have set up, just to name a few. You can also see from here that we do have a substantial number of headcount in pair from research assistant professor, assistant professor, associate professor, all the way to chair professor, involved from different academic departments to work together in tackling the issues related to what we are putting down in pair. We can roughly put our research institute and research centers into three major themes. The first one is about sustainable cities and communities. The second one is about good health and well-being. And the third one is about advanced technologies. We hope to make impact on Hong Kong, the Greater Bay Area, and the world. We want to build an international technology and innovation hub. So next time when the government is looking for solution, please also think of PolyU as your major support. We want to expedite infrastructural connectivity to take forward ecological conservation and to develop a quality living circle. And we hope to continue to contribute to the sustainable development goals set by the United Nations that I mentioned earlier. Thank you very much.
Thank you, Professor Chao, for insightful sharing. Please be seated. 感谢赵教授 So, how does PEAR facilitate interdisciplinary research, transfer knowledge, technologies, inspired innovations across discipline? Let's find out in the coming video. 接下来，请大家收看一段短片，了解 PEAR 如何促进交叉学科研究，转移知识，激发交叉学科创新。At the forefront of international innovation and technology, the Poly U Academy for Interdisciplinary Research, PEAR, of the Hong Kong Polytechnic University, Poly U, seeks to combine effort from Poly U researchers and extensive partners to be a world leader in providing interdisciplinary solutions for major social challenges through advanced research and knowledge transfer activities. Our mission. Is to promote, lead, and support PolyU's interdisciplinary research to address major societal challenges, to create societal impact of PolyU's interdisciplinary research through partnership and interaction with business, industry, and government, and to enhance the visibility and reputation of the university as a world leader in its strategic focus areas through impactful collaborative activities in research and knowledge transfer. To date, the Academy hosts 11 research institutes and five research centers, each with their distinguished expertise. With over 400 senior researchers at Poly U, our research institutes and research centers lead meaningful research on three thematic areas. Advanced technologies and manufacturing, good health and well-being, smart cities and communities. Lying at the core of Pears research is interdisciplinarity. Interdisciplinary research involves interaction between disciplines, which may forge new research fields or disciplines for further exploration. This is like chemical reactions that new products are formed as we put different reactants together. At Pear, the members of our research institutes and research centers from different departments and schools join hands together to develop impactful interdisciplinary solutions for societal problems like climate change, energy shortage, food safety, and aging population, etc. For example, in addressing neurodegenerative disorders. Disciplines like linguistics, biomedical engineering, computer science, nursing, and rehabilitation science will join to come up with ways for early diagnosis, prevention, and effective intervention. Harnessing the strengths of PolyU's research capability and diversity, Pear engages faculty members, researchers, and students, as well as universities, industries, and community in Hong Kong, mainland China, and other countries. For better technology and innovation, infrastructural connectivity, industrial modernization, ecological conservation, quality of living, and most importantly, to contribute to the sustainable development goals, which benefits transcend Hong Kong, the nation, and the world. I'm sure a lot of us here have gained a better understanding of Pear's interdisciplinary research. Today, we、we'll、also take this great opportunity to hold the inauguration ceremony of Pear. 相信大家都加深了对 Pear 交叉学科研究的认识。我们也急着今天这么开心的日子，同时举行 Pear 成立典礼。Comprising 16 research institutes and centers with over 400 highly qualified PolyU senior researchers from all over the world. Pear is the largest research platform of its kind in Hong Kong and the Greater Bay Area to foster interdisciplinary research, partnership with the world-renowned scholars, and transfer of technologies to stakeholders. Pear, 由十六所研究院及研究中心组成，拥有逾四百位来自世世界各地卓越的理大高级研究人员，是本港和粤港澳大湾区最大规模的交叉学科研究平台。Pair 将进一步推动交叉学科研究与世界顶尖学者合作以及知识转移。Now may I invite our honorable guests to come to the stage for the inauguration ceremony of the Poly U Academy for Interdisciplinary Research. 
。现在有请主礼嘉宾到台上参加香港理工大学高等研究院成立典礼。May I invite Professor Dong Sun, Secretary for Innovation, Technology and Industry, Dr. Lam Tai Fai, Poly U Council Chairman, Professor Jin Guan Tang, President of Poly U, Ms. Rebecca Pan, Commissioner for Innovation and Technology. 中央人民政府驻香港特别行政区联络办公室，教育科技部刘茂洲先生 ，Professor Wang Wing Tak, Deputy President of Poly U, Professor Christopher Chow, Vice President, Research and Innovation of Poly U, Professor Xiao Ming Tao, Acting Director of Poly U Academy for Interdisciplinary Research. Up next, may I invite representatives of the Research Institute and Research Center under pair to join us on stage. Professor K. L. Yong, Director of Research Center for Deep Space Exploration. Professor H. C. Man, Director of Research Institute for Advanced Manufacturing. Professor Shen Wei Wang, Director of Autopun Charitable Foundation Research Institute for Smart Energy. Professor Jin Long Chao, Director of Research Institute for Artificial Intelligence of Things. Professor Amy Fu, Associate Director of Research Institute for Sports Science and Technology. Professor Chi Ho To, Director of Research Center for Sharp Vision. Professor Asif Yusmani, Executive Committee Member of Research Institute for Sustainable Urban Development. Professor Xiao Li Ding, Director of Research Institute for Land and Space. Dr. Daniel Mok, Acting Director of Research Center for Chinese Medicine Innovation. Professor Feng Yan, Associate Director of Research Institute for Inter Intelligence Wearable System. Professor David Mann, Director of Mental Health Research Center. Dr. Ka Hing Wong, Director of Research Institute for Future Food. Professor Sias Poon, Director of Research Center for Resources Engineering Towards Carbon Neutrality. Professor Chao Lu, Director of Photonics Research Institute. Professor Yong Ping Chen, Director of Research Institute for Smart Aging. Professor John Shi, Director of Autopun Charitable Foundation Smart Cities Research Institute. May all our guests on stage please take a group photo together. Please look at our camera in the middle. May I invite all guests to witness this important milestone in PolyU's history, bringing together world-class scholars to provide interdisciplinary solutions for major social challenges. On the count of three, I would like to invite all our guests to kick off the pair inauguration. 在倒数三声后，我会邀请各位嘉宾一起启动理大高等研究院。大家准备好 ？One, three, two, one. Congratulations! We ambition here to become a world-leading hub in providing interdisciplinary solutions for major social challenges through advanced research and knowledge transfer activities. 香港理工大学高等研究院正式成立。PAIR 将成为香港和大湾区最大的交叉学科研究平台，通过先进科研和知识转移，为重大社会挑战提供解决方案，成为世界领先的科研枢纽。Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. 感谢各位，请到台下就座。PolyU is not only committed to research excellence and address global challenges with practical innovation, it also leverages on its academic strength, research expertise, and global network to take ideas and interventions from laboratory to life. 
。李大不但致力追求科研卓越，缔造各种创新发明，应对全球挑战。更结合学术优势、研究专长和全球伙伴网络，将创意和发明从实验室带进生活应用之中。Next, we、we'll、present the President's Award for Outstanding Achievement in Knowledge Transfer 2021. This new award recognizes and rewards staff members' knowledge transfer endeavors, which have created significant impacts on industry and society. A total of 40 nominations were received. And each nomination went through a rigorous review process before the final ten winners were selected. 接下来，我们将颁发校长特色杰出成就奖，知识转移二零二一。这个绅士礼的奖项旨在表扬在知识转移方面有杰出成就，并对业界和社会具影响力的教职员。这个奖项一共受到四十项提名。而每一项提名都是经经过严密的评审，在选出最后十位获奖者。We also prepared a video so we can learn more about their stories. 我们预先准备了短片，帮助大家了解他们背后的故事。My research on 3D ultrasound imaging challenges the traditional thinking that ultrasound can only be used for imaging soft tissues. But not bone. I have focused my research on facilitating the whole process of radiation-free sclerosis management, as well as providing a unique tool for researchers to conduct sclerosis-related study. My invention, Scan, has been registered as a medical device in mainland China, EU, and Australia, and is being used in medical centers and hospitals in different countries. It has benefited more than 10,000 sclerosis patients by reducing the potential harm of radiation during sclerosis assessment. My research on 3D mapping added GNSS can improve positioning accuracy in dense urban areas such as Hong Kong and Tokyo by 10 times. The 3D MA GNSS substantially enhanced the location service on the smartphone of our industrial partner, Huawei. This and this paved way for Huawei to form a long-term research partnership with PolyU, investing no less than 10 million Hong Kong dollars over a three-year period. It is well believed that our research team can develop key positioning and navigation algorithms that can benefit the users of Huawei smartphones and autonomous driving vehicles. The research achievement can improve the user experience over 40 million people in the world. I have developed a nano ink formulation that can be applied to food packaging to help combat tampering and ensure food security. Through the collaboration with our commercial partner, the ink is being used on over 30 billion food and drink packages annually, and more than 100 leading companies in the world are using our ink technology and systems for printing product information. This research has created large-scale economic, industrial, and food safety impacts. I developed advanced planetary remote sensing and mapping technologies, combining an innovative 3D topographic mapping model and intelligent approaches for automatic detection and analysis of geomorphological features on the Moon and the Mars. Our research results have been extensively used for landing set mapping and evaluation in China's various space exploration missions, including the Chang'e lunar missions and the Tianwen-1 Mars mission. I will expand the applications of 3D mapping and modeling in urban areas to advance smart city development. Our research team devoted more than 15 years to the research on optical fiber, fiber sensor, laser interrogation techniques, and we work closely together with the railway operator to develop the world's first integrated optical fiber-based railway monitoring system to monitor the real-time conditions of tracks, train cars, and bogies. This technology facilitated the shift from costly and ineffective scheduled maintenance regime to conditioned and predictive based maintenance. It enhances service reliability and reduces disruption arising from train and track failure. Several proprietary systems were installed in Hong Kong's and Singapore metro systems. 
carrying a total combined daily passengers of 8.8 million. Our innovative technologies address the challenges in optimizing the energy systems and the control, ensuring the healthy operation buildings. They are applied in the development and upgrading of a large number of new and existing buildings, achieving energy saving from 15 to 40 percent and up to 10 billion kilowatt hour annual saving yield. By facilitating reduced energy demand and the demand side energy facility, our technology can provide significant contribution to carbon neutrality. Newtalk is a market-leading young spinning technology that tackles an age-old problem caused by the ring spinning machine. It produces ring spin yarn with high strength, low twist, excellent softness, and the ability to retain its shape even after many washes. Better even, the process saves significant energy and requires no chemicals, making it truly green technology. Newtalk has been licensed by more than 10 companies, including some of the world's largest cotton manufacturers. Fabrics and apparels made from Newtalk yarns by famous brands are widely sold in US, Europe, Japan, and China. It brings substantial economic and environmental benefits to the textile industry. Professor Zhu and I have devoted to advancing Chinese language education to both native and non-native speakers across Hong Kong during the past 30 years. We fine-tuned six types of reading comprehension processes, promote four states of integrating abilities, adjust assessment standards. Related learning strategies has been used referred to in the Chinese language curriculum, teaching, and assessment. We have developed a progressive framework for Chinese learning for non-Chinese speaking students. In close collaboration with the Education Bureau, professional bodies and community partners, we are happy to see that our research and service projects made a significant impact on Chinese in education knowledge construction, policy change and teaching practice involving Chinese language teachers and all students. Our team participated in China's Lunar Exploration Program. Starting from the camera pointing system mounted on top of the Chang'e 3 and 4 lander, which enabled the monitoring of rover movement and capturing of stunning primers on the moon's front surface and far side respectively. We also invented a sampling system for Chang'e 5 and the future Chang'e 6 mission which successfully brought back the first Chinese flight lunar regularly. Recently, our invented mass surveillance camera on 1011 has also landed on Mars. Back on Earth, we applied our precision engineering knowledge in robotics, such as an inline robot for water pipe inspection and repair. Our research and innovation created impacts both in space and on our home planet. Myopia affects around 80% of Chinese children in Hong Kong and its incidence is increasing globally. Myopia, especially high myopia, can cause eye diseases that could lead to permanent vision loss. At our Center for Myopia Research, we have invented this lens, which is a soft contact lens, and the dim lens, which is a spectacle lens. Both are based on our myopic focus technology and have shown up to 60% efficacy in myopia control. We have successfully taken our invention from laboratories to end users through commercialization. DIMS is now available in Hong Kong and 20 other countries and regions. Our research and innovation are reshaping clinical practice in myopia management and will, in the long run, reduce the burden of visual health costs on both individual and societal levels. Before we invite the winners on stage, <laughs> may I invite Professor Dong Sun, Secretary for Innovation, Technology and Industry, Dr. Lam Tai-Fai, 
PolyU Council Chairman and Professor Jin Guangtang, PolyU President, to join us on stage to present awards for us. 在邀请获奖者到台上之前，让我们先有请创新科技及工业局局长曾东教授、理大校董会主席林大会博士和校长滕景光教授到台上为我们颁奖。There are a total of four individual awards in knowledge transfer industry. The first one goes to Professor Li Pei of Department of Applied Biology and Chemical Technology for a project nano-based anti-erasing ink for printing on plastic surfaces. May I invite Professor Li to come to the stage? Professor Li, please. 在个人组别，一共有四位教职员获发知识奖与个人奖项，业界。第一位获奖者是应用生物及化学科技学系李培教授，他的科研项目是应用于塑料表面印刷的纳米糖擦墨。Thank you, Professor Li. Please be seated. The second award goes to Professor Wu Bo of the Department of Land Surveying and Geoinformatics for his project, Advanced Topo Topographic Mapping and Geomorphological Analyzed Technologies Contributing to Landing Site Selections in Space Exploring Missions. The second award goes to Professor Wu Bo of the Department of Land Surveying and Geoinformatics for his project, Advanced Topographic Mapping and Geomorphological Analyzed Technologies Contributing to Landing Site Selections in Space Exploring Missions. The third award goes to Professor Wu Bo of the Department of Land Surveying and Geoinformatics for his project, Advanced Topographic Mapping and Geomorphological Analyzed Technologies Contributing to Landing Site Selections in Space Exploring Missions. Thank you, Professor Wu. Please be seated. 谢谢吴教授 The third awardee is Dr. Xu Li Ta of Department of Aeronautical and Aviation Engineering, who is awarded for his project 3D mapping aided GNSS for effective positioning and navigations in urban areas. However, he is not able to join us today in person. 第三位获奖者是航空及民航工程学系许立达博士。他的科研项目是提升城市定位精准度的三维城市模型辅助 GNSS 定位技术。非常遗憾，许博士今天未未能来到现场。The fourth award goes to IR Professor IR Professor Zheng Yongping of the Department of Biomedical Engineering for his project Social Social Scan, a 3D ultrasound imaging system for radiation-free cellulosis assessment. May I invite Professor Zhang to join us on stage. 第四位获奖者是生物医学工程学系郑永平教授，他的科研项目是 Social Scan， 评估脊脊柱侧弯的无辐射三维超声波成像系统。Thank you, Professor Zhang. Please be seated. There are a total of five teams awarded in knowledge transfer industry. The first team award goes to the team led by Professor Tao Xiaoming of the School of Fashion and Textile for the project Nuto, a breakthrough in yarn manufacturing technology for better textile properties. May I invite Professor Tao and her research team? 在团体组别，一共有五个团体获发知识转移团体奖项，业界。第一个获奖团体是由时装纸纺织学院陶晓明教授带领的团队，科研项目是牛驼提升织物性能的突破性纱线生产技术。Thank you, Professor Tao and her team members. Please be seated.
The second team's award goes to the research team led by Professor Wang Shengwei of the Department of Building Environment and Energy, and Energy Engineering for the research project Smart Life Cycle Optimization and Diagnostic Technologies for Buildings Energy Saving. May I invite Professor Wang and his team? Thank you, Professor Wen and your team members. Please be seated. The third team's award goes to the research team led by Professor Tam Yu Wild of the Department of Electrical Engineering for the research project Predictive Maintenance Railway Monitoring System based on optical fiber sensing. While Professor Tam is not able to join us here in person today, I would like to invite Professor Tam's team member, Dr. Mark Liu, to come on the stage. Thank you, Dr. Lee. Please be seated. The fourth team award goes to the research team led by IR Professor Yun Kai Le of the Department of Industrial Systems Energy Engineering and IR Dr. Robert Tam of the Industrial Center for the Research Project Advanced Precision Engineering for Space Missions and Industrial Applications. May I invite Professor Yong and Dr. Tam and the team members to join us on stage. The fifth team Guests stand in one row for a big photo together. Thank you, Professor Yong, Dr. Tam, and all the team members. Please be seated. The fifth team awards under the industry categories goes to the research team led by Professor Tao Chi Ho of School of Autometry for the research project Mitopic to Focus Technology for Mitopia Controlled Intrudent. May I invite Professor Tao and the research team members to join us on stage.
Thank you, Professor Todd and your team members. Please be seated. Finally, we have one more team award, which is the team award in Knowledge Transfer Society. And it goes to the research team led by Professor Chan Sui Dun of the Department of Chinese and Bilingual Studies for the research project, Academic Research on Chinese Language Education with Impact on Knowledge Constructions, Policy and Teaching Practice. May I invite Professor Chan and your research team? Thank you very much, Professor Chan. And also thank you, Professor Sun, Dr. Lan, and Professor Tang. Please be seated. Thank you. Thank you. This morning, we will also applaud the outstanding achievements of young researchers. Launching for the first time, the PolyU Young Innovative Researchers Award, YIRA, aims to recognize young faculty members under the age of 35 whose research demonstrates excellence in addressing global challenges. The YIRA assessment panel has received a total of 59 submissions this year, and six talented young researchers have made to the finals. Let's learn more about their research from the coming video. 奖项评审委员会今年一共收到了五十九份提名，而最终选出了六位年轻学者。我们准备了短片向大家介绍六位年轻学者的科研之路。The Young Innovative Research Award is for talented faculty members who epitomize PolyU's commitment to research excellence. Young Innovative Researcher Award. We develop soft material with the world's modern molecular machine for use in advanced biomedical applications. Our firm belief is that innovation makes the world better. My research focuses on color science how humans respond to light and color. Our findings help high-tech companies to improve lighting, cameras, displays, smartphones, and VR, AR, and MR-enabled metaverse systems. I'm a material scientist working to increase the data storage capacity of your computer and extend its useful life. This helps build a greener world with less electronic waste. My collaborators and I address changing urban environments by designing better living and working spaces for tomorrow. We're helping to conserve the still houses in Hong Kong's famous Taiyo Fishing Village, preparing for a changing future. My innovations make substantial impact in both green and modern drug development, as well as decarbonization through conversion of CO2 to valuable chemicals. Innovation to me is using finite building blocks to create infinite possibilities. Our linguistics team aims to develop robot-assisted training programs to improve the speech of autistic children. We are overwhelmed to see PolyU's young innovators pursuing their research with such passion and dedication. This award recognizes their strong potential and encourages an innovative spirit within PolyU so our scientific discoveries can help create a better world. I offer my heartiest congratulations and thanks to each of them for their contributions to a better and brighter future.
Now, may I invite Professor Dong Sun, Secretary for Innovation, Technology and Industry, Dr. Lam Tai Fai, PolyU Council Chairman, and Professor Christopher Chow, Vice President, Research and Innovation, to join us on stage to present the coming awards. Let's welcome this year's Young Innovative Researchers Award winners to the stage. 现在有请今年的青年创新研究者长获奖者到台上。Dr. Xi Chen, Assistant Professor of Department of Chinese Bilingual Studies. Please take a photo together. Thank you, Dr. Chen. Please remain on stage. Dr. Jibin Chen, Assistant Professor of Department of Industrial and System Engineering. Thank you, Dr. Chen. Please remain on stage. The third we will have Mr. Daniel Keith Elkin, Assistant Professor of School of Design, represented by Dr. Jeffrey Holt of School of Design. Thank you, Dr. Ho. Thank you, Dr. Ho. Please remain on stage. Upcoming, we'll have Dr. Franco King Shi Lang, Assistant Professor of Department of Applied Biology and Chemical Technology. Thank you, Dr. Lang. Please remain on stage. And next, we'll have Dr. Benedict Ji Wun Lo, Assistant Professor of the Department of Applied Biology and Chemical Technology. Thank you, Dr. Lo. Please remain on stage. Last but not least, we'll have Dr. Tommy Min Chen Wei, Associate Professor of the Department of Building Environment and Energy Engineering. Now, may I invite all young innovative researchers on stage to take a group photo together with Professor Sun, Dr. Lam, and Professor Chow. Now, I have six young innovative Please look at the camera in the middle. Thank you very much. Please remain on stage, Professor Christopher Child, and thank you to the rest of the guests. Now, may I invite Professor Jin Gong Tang, President of PolyU, to join the other assessment panel members of the Young Innovative Researchers Award to the stage for a group photo. May everyone please remain on stage for a group photo.
please remain on stage for your photo for this opportunity. And our president will join in the big group photo together. Together in this group photo, we have Professor Wing Tat Wong, Deputy President and Provost, Dr. Miranda Lowe, Executive Vice President, Professor Larry Chow, Head of Department of Applied Biology and Chemical Technology, and Professor Christina Wong, Director of Research and Innovation. May all the guests on stage please look at the camera in the middle. Thank you very much, everyone. Please be seated. For audience watching online, the Polio Innotech Open Day ceremony will conclude here. 在线上收看直播的观众朋友们，李大创客开放日开幕典礼到此完满结束。<音>